Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today I'm going to be opening the Geek Gear Wizardry box for January of 2019. So this is the first box of the year. I'm expecting great things, so let's get this open and see what's inside. So of course, we'll start off by pulling this amazing tab that is just so satisfying. <laughs> and then we look inside. We have, oh, I'm guessing that this is the um, cheat sheet. So I'm not gonna open this just yet. I'm just gonna set it aside. We have the yellow uh, tissue paper for Hufflepuff because I am a Hufflepuff. And if we open this up and take a look inside, I'm going to try and not look at anything as I pull the, these things out. Um, but there is a t-shirt and it looks like it has a Hogwarts picture on it. It's white. I don't wear too much white, but it feels very comfortable. So I might actually wear this one. And yes, it has a, it's, it has a, a line art sort of of Hogwarts and it has like the Quidditch rings in the background and everything. So that's pretty cool. Not a bad shirt. Um, the art is very basic on it. And again, it's white. I don't wear a lot of white, but it's so comfortable. This will probably be like, like a nighttime shirt for me, like a sleep shirt or something. It's very cool. All right, let's see what else we can find inside here. No, this, okay, hold on. This is the January 2019 cheat sheet. I'll set this aside and I guess I can open this one up and see what it is because I was wrong. This is not the cheat sheet. So let's open this up. It must be like a first, first of the year letter or something. So it has like a sticker for a seal. It's supposed to look like the acceptance letter. There we go. Our boxes are changing for the better, it says. Cool. I mean, they're already great. So if you're changing them for the better, I'm happy. We apologize if people felt like we have lacked in our personalized and handcrafted charm the way we started back in 2016. Well, okay, I could see that, but I didn't really see a lot of the boxes that were uh, back from 2016. I mean, I just started getting these uh, in 2018, kind of later on in the year. So I guess I didn't really have much of a comparison. From our February box onwards, we are changing our boxes, our packaging, and our content. So their boxes aren't gonna look the same. I hope they still have that tab to pull though because that's just one of the great things about the box, just the satisfying tab to pull. Um, expect only the highest quality products with unique and cute packaging. Expect handcrafted original artworks and so much more. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber from your Geek Gear team. So guys, if you are on the fence, Geek Gear is a really good box and it sounds like from February on, they are going to be upping their game. I'm happy about that and if you are still on the fence, Check out my channel in February because I'll be opening up their February box too and onwards all throughout the year. So we, we will have comparison at that point. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. A pin, they always have an enamel pin and this is really cool, but it's a January pin, yet it is an owl with a Santa Claus hat on, which is very strange for January because it is no longer Christmas, which makes me think, whoops, which makes me think, um, are they, is this like just an extra item or something or something that came late that they had already paid for? I don't know, but I mean, it's a cool pen. It's just kind of off being Christmas themed in January. Now let's see what else we have in this box of goodies. Um, snow, snowy owl. It's, is this another Christmas thing? It's January, so it's strange. They already had their holiday themed boxes. Let's see. Oh no, okay. No, it's just a white snowy owl. It's the type of owl it is. Never mind. I don't know my owls very well apparently. So here we go. We have a little owl. It's kind of weird. Yeah, just a little miniature owl. Live owls are actually really cute and really cool, but they're terrifying and creepy because they drink blood. Okay, let's check out the next item in here. What have we got? Oh, a love potion tea. Love potion tea. So, hey, that's just in time for Valentine's Day. 
Mixed red berry infusion. That sounds very tasty. Just, you know, love potion tea. No big deal. And next, let's see what else I can blindly grab from in here. Ooh, wizardry cushion cover. Let's see. It's very large, but it looks like it's like a canvas or burlap bag. And that's not very comfortable. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's very textured and strange for an actual pillow cushion. I mean, it has a zipper right here. You can unzip um, and put your pillow inside. I mean, the design is pretty neat. Not a bad design for it, actually. But yeah, um, I would not lay my head on this. It's just rough and not very soft. But hey, it's cool. If, if it's just a decorative pillow, that's what this is for probably. It's just for decorate, like a decorative pillow. It's not for you to like sleep on or anything. And next inside the box, how many items is that by the way? That's one, two, three, four. That's four so far. Here's another one. Uh, Geek Gear Wizardry box. Inside there is something metal. Oh, it's shaped like a chocolate frog card. It's on a chain. Oh, oh, that's actually really neat. But what is it for? Is this a necklace? Cause that is a big neck. That is huge, but it actually is really nice and really cool for decoration. I would say like the quality of this is really good too. It's nice and thick. Um, but yeah, I would hang this up somewhere, but I would, I probably wouldn't wear it. Like I said, I'd feel kind of funny walking around with something this big dangling from my neck. Let's see if I can feel how many, obviously there's like the limited edition print that they put in there, but I think that's it. I think this is the last thing in the box and they're always hard to get out of the bottom of the box. Here we go. All right, here we go. Is there more than one in there? No, it's just doubled up on cardboard, but there is only one. However, it is a very cool print. I do like this print. It's a Deathly Hollows print. And you can't go wrong with the Deathly Hollows. That's cool. All right. So there were, it felt like there was more stuff in here. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, it did feel like there was more stuff in here. We got the print. Um, we got the pillowcase. We got the little miniature owl. We got the love potion tea. We got the uh, Christmas owl pin. And then we got the chocolate frog necklace for nineties rap artists. This is actually a really cool thing. Um, I just wouldn't wear it as a necklace ever actually you could transform this into like a Christmas ornament. Overall, I mean, there wasn't anything in this box that was like, just made me think, wow, this is awesome. Um, there was a lot of cool stuff, but yeah, there's nothing in here that really stood out to me anyways. The, if I had to pick two favorite items, I would say probably the print and the chocolate frog pendant. The, those would probably be my two favorites or maybe the pillowcase because I do like the design on the pillowcase. Um, and if it's just for decoration, that makes sense. But other than that, yeah, um, this was not their strongest box, but it wasn't a bad box. If you wanna see more uh, Geek Gear unboxings, I do one for every single month. So if you are interested in seeing how they step their game up in February, definitely check out my video next month. Um, I normally, if you're new around here, I normally do DIY videos and they're all pretty much Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts themed. I make custom templates and things that you can download for free from my website. So if you are interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you wanna see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.